Mauna Kea is a community resource. Mauna Kea does not belong to anyone. The Hawaiian people have never said it belonged to it. It is a spiritual place. And spirit knows no blood quantum. Spirit knows no feature. Spirit is spirit. The latest football field size TMT after we told NASA to go bye-bye with their keck because they're putting stuff inside our pico. And the pico of the Pacific is Mauna Kea. The pico is your belly button. So when you look up there and you see Poliahu, when you see the mountain lying, her lying down, those things are injecting into her stomach and into her uterus and on her face and on her neck. Not on the landscape. That's not landscape to us. That's a relative. That's my mother's name. Mr. Moore, or whoever you are, whoever you are. You know, we have people come over here and say, we love Hawaii, we want to protect Hawaii, and they live by their, um, behind their gated community in Koala. Oh, that's real local. That's so damn local, it makes me want to spit. Oh, we love Hawaii. We want it just like how we saw it when we came here the first time. They literally will buy a church and keep it preserved so they can have their little dream. But the rest of us, are we supposed to put on grass skirts and wiggle for you? You know, you make your money wherever you make your money. I don't live by money. That's why I live a long and good life. I live by the spirit, the spirit of humankind, not by uh, the human that thinks that the resources come from them. They have a lot of money because they were smarter or they were faster or they were more cunning. I need not be the wolf. But when you talk about conserving, that you're about conservation and the environment, and you tell me that you're gonna put a telescope after we've already been telling you guys, enough, enough, our kupunas, our kupunas, both in the spirit and those that have passed, have said enough's enough. Oh, you're gonna get the ones that'll sit there and, you know, say yes, hell. Don't you do that with every race when you got the money? Which race on this world doesn't dance to the tune of money? This isn't about, uh, oh, they call us angry Hawaiians. I guess when you put your spiritual, cultural, and political part together, they don't like that. You'd rather have us cultural, huh? Maybe do a chant and sing for you and find a nice way to rewrite Mauna Kea and have little signs on the way up. Please don't... Uh, don't throw your cigarette butts out the window. But 38 feet of one of our pools was cut off. 38 feet of this planet was severed for telescopes. And now you're going to put it on her legs. And you expect us to go, wow, you're such a nice conservationist. You're such a wonderful person. Another one of those philanthropists of the world that's out to save us from ourselves. You know what? Take your money and keep it. We don't need it. And if you're going to create jobs, you know, because they always tell Hawaii they're going to create jobs. I can create jobs. For the next 50 years, we can take that junk off and plant trees. Why don't you give a couple hundred millions of dollars of that and we'll remember you with a statue. We'll put it in Washington, D.C. Saved by a philanthropist rather than destroyed by one.